noise. Let me see, I just press start, so uh, go ahead, let people know. I was just popped up on my phone. What? Oh, what? Oh, is it up there, though? Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, go in the, uh, go check and see if the volume all right. Because I can't, I can't hear it. I done did it again, did it again. Did it again. Hey, maybe I should. Matter of fact, hold on. We're gonna stop this real quick. Zay, when I type your name, bro, why the first thing pop up is Zay S O D S. What the fuck, bro? God. Damn, bro. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Niggas don't like me, man. Oh, stop the stream. Stop the stream. Bro, I say because of, like, she might be tied with Wayne or some shit, but Wayne, he ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? And Gucci, only thing stopped him was a uh, fucking prison, bro. You, like, clearly, bro. Anytime Gucci's ever been free, that nigga has been dropping music like a motherfucker, bro. Even and when he wasn't so that nigga was this. still dropping shit, dog. <laughs> bro, that's it, bro. That's it, bro. That was, and. That's how we know that just being consistent is him because Gucci is not high no more. He ain't drunk no more. He ain't doing none of that shit no more. But yeah, he's still consistently dropping music. That's how we know that he, he consistently still. Damn, hell you did. Man, shit, that shit sound good, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit sound good as fuck. Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, bro, like that nigga just shit. High Gucci, sober Gucci. He still consistently dropping music, and he ain't he ain't dropping the most uh, quality shit all the time. But Gucci, bro, you could argue that most of Gucci shit is quality, bro. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Being just hard. And he got timeless music too. You still listen to his bro, shit, bro? He got bro, bro, yeah, bro. I, oh six, bro. I was just finna say, I still listen to Chicken Talk. I still hey, listen yeah, a lot of bro, I listen to a lot of old shit from Gucci, bro. Like. Nigga, my phone got EA Sports Center. Matter of fact, I got the the physical copy of EA Sports Center, bro. I got what Chamber. I got all them old shits, bro. His Nigga, music is top, bro. Writing on the wall on my mama. Writing on the wall too, bro. Like all that shit, but writing on the wall more. That's a more of a classic, though. Like that's when he came off of the um, fresh out the goddamn prison shit, bro. Like right when he first started catching them eyes for real. Cause when he came home from. Riding, yeah, when he came home to do writing on the wall, that's when, bruh, Jewels was showing him love, Busta Rhymes was showing him love. Like, he was, that's when the industry first, like, just welcomed him in, bruh, was when he came home in, in like, March 09. But, bruh, nigga done got all the way off of Famous Dex on Gucci. I'm just saying, bruh, like, it's not, it's not hard to be consistent when you don't give a fuck about what you're saying, bruh. But Gucci, bruh, if you listen to that nigga shit, that nigga dropped in hella shit, hella taste. Yeah, it's always about trap shit. But if you listen to Gucci, Gucci still got bars. Gucci still got punchlines. And Gucci still got, like, I don't know, bro. Like, Famous Dex, y'all can say consistent if you want to. But to me, that's just consistent trash, bro. I mean, no, nah, that's, like, bro, that's the only reason I would say he been the way he at for this long because that's what it is you gotta think about like youtube it's it's a lot of people that put out trash content but they got a lot of subs and a lot of views just because they consistent I mean, yo you was chopping up like hell bro. i say it's you gotta look at like youtube like how we always say people put out trash content but they got the the subscribers and the views even though they got the bull you know shit content <laughs> That's how it is. As long as they, true. they pumping out stuff to the people, they eating it up. You right? Hey, listen, man. I fuck with this nigga named Ticket TV, bro. Like, no disrespect <laughs> to him, bro. But he put out, he make cheap ass videos, bro. But I still fuck with him, bro. I still fuck with the nigga, bro. And I like, bro. <clears throat> the other day when I had, uh, I did a video about NBA Young Boy, um, record deal and shit, and I ain't have. Using my laptop because my girl was watching a fucking movie on that shit. So should I just use my phone and just covered up my camera, made a black screen, and I just talked, bro, and just uploaded that shit straight from my phone. Probably just like what Ticket TV do, bro. But I mean, shit, like, yeah, shit, he made cheap bro. shit, man, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly my point. You're right. 
And like I said, I still, bro, I still fuck with him. And the, I mean, hell, the niggas do. That nigga got like forty, almost fifty something thousand, if not more. So nigga, he doing something right, bro. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, nigga. I thought we didn't about one, bro. I can't even. You know, it's just like I can't that niggas even. fuck with Carcino. <laughs> Carcino, wild, bro. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you said what? Well, Carcino, wild, bro. That nigga find his shit sometimes, y'all. I can't sleep, bro. He just don't Man. give a damn. That's I guess that's what make him him, you know. Yeah, but it's just the way that nigga carry yourself. Like, oh, bro, like something gotta want to sock that nigga in his face, bro. <laughs> I mean, hey, it is. It's your boy Carcino here. Man, tweet now it out, truth. man. We've been live for eight minutes. Tweet this out. Somebody tweet it out. <clears throat> I got to tweet this out. How you do that? How you share? How you share this shit? Yo, let me see what the fuck I got to do. Where is the fucking... Man, I'm about to do that, man. I don't know how to tweet this out. How you... Shit, bro. I ain't never went live, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I got it. We live, baby. Open the heads. I'm gonna go to it now. We How long we been live, bro? Uh, just a couple minutes. Uh, check and see if it's still straight with the volume. And told she ain't got no. You said you ain't got your your Twitter no more, dude. Man, uh, I don't, bruh. I, I ain't used that shit in so long. I don't even know how to goddamn log on that shit no more, bruh. <laughs> That's straight. Nah, because I was going to tag you, gotta you in it. Out. Hold on, what happened? Nah, so I was, you got to get put it, bruh. Oh, yeah. Twitter, where is that, bro? For real, for real. Man, I, man, I hate Twitter, bruh. Why? I like how that shit... Bro, it just ain't the same no more, bro. It's just not the same, bro. It's just, I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, I, mean, I was on Twitter back in, like, 09. Bro, that shit just, bro, it's just so different to me now, bro. It, it, it's like, uh, like, so I'm just going to sit here and read y'all thoughts all day. I don't give a fuck. No, nah, I mean, <laughs> like, with, just, with you being a reporter, it'll, it'll help you out, though, for real, for real. Because a lot of news come to Twitter before it hit anywhere else. Yeah. True. Because, bro, it, like. You're right, because it don't take nothing to get online and just tweet some shit hella quick and then just post it and, and, and shit is there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, shit, it's, it, it's, it's almost like Instagram, but just a little quicker than Instagram. Because Instagram, you got to post a picture and all the shit, write a caption. It's just not as quick as, uh, yeah, it's not as quick as Twitter. So, you're right. You're right. I just don't fuck with that shit, but <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to force myself to get back on it, bro. Cause I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Before this toast shit, I was man, shit, nigga, I wasn't using no Instagram, bro. Now I love Instagram, dog. I love that shit. Like, I had an Instagram, bro, and then I stopped using that shit because I forgot my information. Then I made another one. I was <laughs> loving that shit. Then I took a picture with this porn star bit. After that, my shit mysteriously got hacked. And then I just said, "Fuck <laughs> that shit, bro." I just. Hey, bro, listen, bro. Have y'all ever heard of this bitch named Cheyenne Jacobs, bro? Little light skin bitch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, bro. <laughs> Nigga was working at the airport, bro. I just seen a bit with like some like some pink ass hair. Like, I ain't know it was her. But like her pink ass hair, she just stood out from everybody in the whole like terminal or whatever, wherever I was and shit. So I seen her turn around. I'm like, yo, Cheyenne, bro, I'm talking about, bro, my supervisor was in the middle of talking to me, bro. I just walked off from that bit. Like, I just blacked out, just walked off to, and started talking to that bit and shit. Man, I got cussed out by, uh, shit, my boss. That shit was funny as hell. But, yeah, bro, I took a picture, put it on Instagram. My shit got hacked after that. Like, that shit mysteriously just got fucked. I'm like, what the fuck? So after that, I was just like, man, fuck Instagram, bro. But now that I'm doing this toe shit, I, I got to use it. But I like it more than I ever did, though. I, I mean, I'm not the social media guy. I used to be back in the day. I still be on it, but I ain't on it like I used to be. 
Facts. Yeah, man. Nah, that was a couple porn stars that washed up too, bro. I was looking at them now like, God, damn, girl. And got fat and got fat and sloppy. What the fuck happened, dude? Bruh, Pinky had to be the most dramatic change. She was so bad when she first came into the business. Like, Zay, can I ask you a question? Huh? Zay, can I ask you a question, bro? He's <laughs> what? So, <laughs> if Pinky just came up to you right now, bro, and was like, what's up? I mean, I still was mad. <laughs> but I was uh-huh. just saying. Oh, okay, okay. Bro, I just had to make sure, bro. Uh-huh. I'm like, man. I'm just saying, it's a dramatic change, though, bro. You can't even lie. Like, nigga, she oh, was not, bro, listen, bro. back in she the got... day, and she was thick with it. Bro, you, bro, I remember in, like, <laughs> bro, I remember, like, Knowing about her, like, low-key in middle school and shit, when she was, just, like, hella slim and petite with a fat ass, right? Yeah. And then, and then, bro, like, one day I was on the phone with my homeboy, and we was in, like, 10th grade by then. This is, like, 09. Bro was like, hey, bro, Pinky fat now. I'm like, no, she not, bro. And he was like, bro, Pinky is fat, bro. I'm like, no, she not, bro. So I looked it up. Bro, she was fat as fuck. Yo, but, but she even bigger she was, now, though. Like, she done gained some more weight. Bro, I think she likes being fat, bro. I mean, she probably do. She still, I'm pretty sure she still she likes get me. dudes trying to holler at her every day. So, I mean, it really don't even matter. Bro, we used to we used to trade fucking when I was in middle school, bro. We used to trade goddamn porn DVD like Pokemon <laughs> card, bro. All right, bro. I got what's name? I got what's name DVD. What you got, nigga? What you got, nigga? nigga. Then once we got the once we got the high school, nigga, we started. Trading news like fucking Pokemon card. Like, all right, man, I got slip this up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Crazy, bro. Dog, it was the one nigga at my school, bro. No flip, dog. Every fine chick at the school or every chick with some kind of clout, he had their news, bro. I don't know how the fuck he was getting their news, dog. I don't know if he was hacking these bitches shit or what. But this nigga had bruh, every. Oh, that mouthpiece, bro. Probably dog, just finesse that, bro. <clears throat> Like, he had game, like, he was getting on some of these chicks, but some of these chicks, bro, he didn't even really speak to, dog. I don't know how the fuck he got their news. Oh, that's crazy. But, bro, this nigga had every chick knew, you, bro. Yeah, he probably like, was hacking that shit or something. If he ain't even really mess with the girl and he still had that shit. I don't know how the fuck he got their news, dog. Man, bro, oops, man. On to my niggas teacher, like me and some niggas that, that I know. <laughs> niggas like me, bro, and some niggas that I know, bro, like. Oh, You'll never see them talking to the girl at the school, bro. But behind the scenes, he's smashing. You just d- don't know. True. Yeah, fact. Roger, Matt, my whole line just collapsed. They could have got the sack. What? The- ah! That <laughs> my. He had some chicks in there. I ain't even think like was on that type of move, bro. I'm like, damn, that bitch. That bitch fucked up. Bro, bro. <laughs> I said, damn, boy. Man, tell me, man, shit, tell me, bro, which ones ain't, bro, especially the quiet ones, bro, especially the quiet oh, yeah, ones, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 you right about Let that. Let me one, man. You right about that. <laughs> like, the quiet, lame girls, bro, like, bro, some of the quiet, lame girls in school was getting piped down, bro, like, for real. It was just... On their own shit. They was the ones that started out before all the other girls that were flexing. Because, you know, a lot of girls used to <laughs> flex like they were with it. You know, when it came down to it, they won. But Hell no. Nah. Them quiet girls, yep. they be with it. Be lying about getting piped out and shit. Man. I lost lying like that shit though. cute. God damn. But I ain't going to lie. Niggas be like hoes, though. So. For some reason. For some reason, niggas is attracted to... Uh, a bit that we know is getting piped out by everybody. <laughs> I'm not, man. I used to be, but I ain't no more, man. I mean, I'm a, nah, I'm bro. A, like, just, just, just niggas as a, like a whole, bro. Like, not, not, not you, like individually, but most, most niggas, bro. Like, shit, I ain't even trying to like generalize this or whatever. But I mean, shit, I gotta a keep lot it real. Of, a lot of, yeah, a lot of dudes are stupid. Though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Stupid to hell. Oh, get that mom. But no, I had that one. I had that one home by bro. I had got these two chicks now. I put this on my life, bro. 
I got these two chicks <laughs> that were beefing. They were from like this, the county next to her. I had so much clout on that counter, bro. That shit crazy here, but no flip, bro. I put it from my life on the story, bro. I, I brought these two chicks out for me and my niggas to run their ass. Okay, so one of my partners, it was his turn, like to get in the car, the back seat, and smash the chick. So, I don't know what it's like. It's taking that nigga too long right there. What the fuck is he doing, bro? So, I looked in, so I looked in the back. This nigga fucking shoulders fucking shimmy and this shit like he'll fucking cap. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing, bro? This nigga about to make love, bro. I put this on everything. He started going with me, bro. I put this on my life, dog. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, hey, listen. I don't know how 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 uh how appropriate this is gonna be for YouTube or not, bro. But man, my partner, he brought us out a white girl, bro. I'm talking about this bitch, bro. She was, bro. She was down to do whatever, whenever, with whoever, bro. You feel me, like, like nigga, like, bro. The first time I met her, bro, like, nigga, I ended up getting some top, bro. Like, just easy, bro. Easy as hell. Like, it took me like five minutes to get some, bro. So, uh. Bro, everybody I know was hitting, bro. Even one of my homeboys, he even lost his virginity to the bit, right? Like, everybody was hitting, bro. She was letting everybody smash. I ain't never smashed. I just got hit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But everybody hit, bro. Tell me why this one nigga fucked it up for everybody and and, 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 and cuffed it. Not my homeboy that lost his virginity to it, bro. It was his other nigga, bro. But this nigga, bro. Oh. I mean, that's how it be, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> when it came down to that, it always one person that messed it up. Uh, the nigga bro, that don't like, get it and it. he be hating, so he started talking shit and this and that, and then he ruined it. Yeah, it, it, it be like that. Like, bro, you, you crazy, bro. Like, you could have just been just getting, could just been getting your thing wet, bro. Exactly, exactly bro. Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly, bro. You know, so you know, some chicks in school with the chicks they had clout and a little clan. If you want to smash, you gotta pretend you want to talk to them for real, for real. But a regular fucking fight, you ain't gotta do all that, bro. Just go smash. You just ran the thing, bro. Cause they, bro, cause they already know what you want, bro, and they want the same thing. That's why they're a thought. Nah, I was so you ashamed. Can't fuck bro. it up, for everybody getting a relationship though. You gotta walk around holding hands with her and shit. Yeah, bro, I was so ashamed, bro. Especially this nigga put this nigga put her as his other half on MySpace, bro. I I quickly took this nigga out of my top ten, bro, on MySpace. I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get done with this shit, bro. <laughs> nigga said I took him out of my top ten, bro. You coming off my page, bro? <laughs> oh, you gotta man. go, bro. You gotta go. Finna Ain't put no you more. in the top 24, bro. You in the top 24, bro. Yes, bro. You... <laughs> I can't get down on this fucker. You, you in, bro. How this gonna look at the way that we done ran train on this? We your best man. How this gonna look? True, How's that gonna look, bro? <laughs> True, man. I'm talking about he all on the picture on my space, tongue and her down. I'm like, nigga. We can't be doing that. No. We... Hey, nigga. You know you just kissed every nigga at the party? <laughs> oh, somebody, he went. He wasn't Shane, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know what to think, bro. I didn't know what to think, <laughs> man, bro. Hey, man, some niggas just, I don't know, like what, but bro, what makes a nigga co like cuff a hoe that he knows is a hoe? I don't know. What bro. do it? I mean, sometimes you gotta think honest, they're, they're the only type it. they can get, bro. You know, it's some dudes out here that really can't get no girl. You feel me? So when they finally get that girl and she a hoe, they like, shit, I got a cuff. Bro, we see this on a different level, though. Like, well, I mean, shit, what about Wiz? Or, 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 or yay. And I ain't disrespecting nobody's baby mom or their wife or whatever, but, bro, <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. I mean, but. At the end of the day, they knew what they were getting themselves into, you feel me? So, if they wanted to take that L, they just gonna have to take that L and keep it pushing. Oh, come on, let go. Run it back. Run it back. Oh, how y'all let the line with it? And I fuck with 21, bro. But it ain't no way in hell that I would ever cuff Amber Rose, bro. Because, like, think about it. Every relationship she done been in, she always, like, try to shit on the nigga afterwards. <laughs> Hey, what was that? Um, 
I, who who posted that? Was that you, Eyeball? Was that you? Stone? I don't know. One of y'all what posted that? something about she had uh, got hacked or something. Somebody got hacked. 21. No, that was 21. 21 yeah. got hacked, and they threw in the like, legal news. Nigga got hacked by some real savages, bro. Ain't nothing like the internet savages, boy. They take your account. Yeah, bro. Twenty. I mean, hell yeah, twenty-one to savage, but 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 shit, nigga. The internet. I don't want no savage with no internet mm. savage, boy. But they the internet is the most savage. <laughs> bro, hey man, shit. Y'all remember when they hacked Metro Boomin', bro? Oh yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Smack, pop. <laughs> Niggas be putting all weird kind of dick pics and shit on there, bruh. Dog, a nigga had hacked Soldier Boy phone, bruh. I don't know how the nigga did this shit, but he, he hit me up. He contacted me like, hey, bruh, I got all Soldier Boy shit. Got the nigga uh, dick. What the fuck? Why would I want Yeah, that dick, Hispanic bro? dude or something, he hit me up too <laughs> with the same shit, bruh. By the way, bruh, I don't want no. I don't want, as far as the internet, bro, I don't want no smoke with you, no bro. No smoke. So. You know what I'm saying? Leave Stop. my stuff alone. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, bro, that's what I'm about to say. Hey, man, shit, eyeball. I know I would have been kind of scared. I would have been like, shit, man. If I don't accept this nigga shit, man, shit, this nigga might try to hack my YouTube or something. Exactly. <laughs> hey, bro. The way YouTube going right now, I don't get no fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. For real. Yeah, man. I I was respectful with the shit, like, I'm cool on the dick pitch, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> the my issue was soldier, but, like, real teeth. That fuck, that nigga teeth were riding the shit, <laughs> Man, man shit, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you see when Kodak man. took his grill out, he got how that nigga teeth was like they had goddamn stunted growth or something, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. But so, so... Soldier on that fucker, but he cool as a bit though. That nigga, that nigga fuck with my channel strong, man. Huh? I, I said Soldier but cool as a bit, man. He fuck my channel strong, but I still be calling him out on shit though. I don't show no favor to him. But that's bro, you do, up. bro. I seen you like get that nigga no bro. Huh? He ain't never really no bite. Like, yo, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear bro. Oh, like shit. You wasn't never like biased towards no soldier boy. Yeah, no. Nah, you called know. him out on on on, on uh, his his uh his Leo like tendencies, bro. This nigga want to be the center of attention and shit, bro. For all the fuckery and sh I mean, man, like I ain't gonna lie, the shit was entertaining. It was. To be it honest, was, I kind of, you know? I kind of miss soldier boy going off, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, a good <laughs> a good soldier boy video would be good for the culture right now, bro. Just shake something up. I ain't gonna lie, but uh. Should I remember the last video you did on him? No, you said that nigga's on probation. That nigga can't do none of that yeah, fuck shit. Know, <laughs> that nigga probation strict as a strict as, strict as a bed, bro. I'm you. That nigga can't do nothing. <laughs> that, hey, that's why he's so quiet now, though. For real, like he ain't. He like, nah, fuck all of that. But can he do this shit five years, bro? Can he stay this quiet five years, bro? That's what I was about to say, though, because he got some years on pro, bro. Like, yeah, he got some years on the papers, bro. He got some years, bro. He's been quiet for some months, though. You see, I don't know. He probably I know it's killing, it's killing him, though, bro. He <laughs> <laughs> said it's killing him. He said it's killing him. It's killing him, bro. Hey, bro, it probably is, though, bro. I'm telling you, the niggas are Leo, bro. Like, they love to be, like, seen. That's just them. Oh, Trust me, my little brother is going. When that soldier boy shit was going on, bro, I got like twenty k <laughs> sold that month, bro. Man, I think everybody was eating off of that. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like everybody had ten, twelve videos about it every week, cause it was something new, man, bro. No, it was bro. It was something new. This nigga was doing every bro. This man literally, he was quiet as shit up until the time him and Bow Wow dropped that album, bro. And then he just went on a press run of fuckery. A press yeah. run of antics, bro. For like about a good month or two. Just back to back, like every day getting into it with somebody. Like, I don't know. Hey, hey bro, which one of y'all is near like the computer right now? Go on go on YouTube and type in Soldier Boy Threatens, bro. It's it's a list of suggestions, bro. It's a list of people. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It's a whole list of of people, bro. Oh, 
Soldier Boy beat with somebody new every every other day. I was gonna say it was every other day for real. He was beefing with somebody, everybody. Nigga was even beefing with his own brother, like. That nigga, yeah, he was beefing with his own brother, bro, and his mom. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga beefing with his mama, bro. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, that is crazy, bro. They say Southside, Lil Yachty, Quavo. Hey, Lee that's my Ryan. favorite one, though, bro. That Southside, though. Bro. Boy, that shit was funny. Southside was my favorite, <laughs> Southside was my favorite <laughs> one, bro. Oh, shit, bro. I'm about to cry right now, bro. That shit was funny as fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this, fuck, this nigga said, hey, Sizzle. What's stop playing with me? <laughs> <laughs> you know I got two condos in Atlanta uh, and a mess in Atlanta, nigga. And you know you just got robbed, nigga. Don't make me <laughs> 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 Hey, the don't make me expose you. That was the best part, man. Don't get. Don't make me That's expose like a big you. Ass That's like a big ass grill. That's like a big ass grill in the mind, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hey, hey, this nigga eyeball played that shit is his intro, bro, for hella goddamn weeks, bro. That shit. <laughs> that was the thing, man. Hey, hey, bro. We got that boy, Big Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Hold up, bro. Oh, uh, shit. Nigga gotta wipe his eyes out real quick, bro. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Big Soldier in the building. <laughs> that shit funny as fuck too when he was in the car, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Was, hey, big soldier in the building, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, that nigga just, uh, bro. He just an entertainer for real, bro. He just a fucking class act, bro. That nigga's funny as hell. He's nah, funny, no, another funny video, bro. We tried to send Chris Brown the apology video. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. hey. It's so true, bro. Holla at me, bro. Hit me, dog. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. I had to get Hey, bro. Hey, Chris, it's so true. at me, bro. Oh, no. Nah, hey. What about when he did that? He did the, uh, shit, when he put a hit out on bro, and the niggas was calling him from Chicago, bro, and it was, like, really going in on him, bro. He was just quiet, bro. He was just quiet on the phone, like, Wait, man, like bro, yeah. Thing? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, bro. When the Knicks, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, called yeah, him yeah. up yeah. and exposed, man. Bro. That nigga told the boy he didn't been exposed for hella time, bro. <laughs> hella time. So very but that's good. why it's so funny because he would get exposed and then come back the next day with some more shit. That's the hardest fuck, bro. <laughs> like, that's how you knew, like, you can't do nothing but laugh at that shit, bro. Like, bro. Bro, that nigga. He was like, yeah, hey, boy, big soldier. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just want to squash all the beef. Man, I want to make music with Chris Brown, Quavo, Yachty, everybody, man. My the next mama, day. My mama, she ain't feeling too good. Yeah, man, man. I got so pissed that uh, I ain't uh, going to uh, lie, bro. I was like, man, I made a video saying, bro, this nigga is lying, bro. He bullshit. He lying, bro. He going to be back at it. Folks, all, uh, folks in my comment, talking about, oh, you, you, you a bitch. He, he telling the truth. This, that, 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 that. Man, this nigga Soulja Boy came back two days later talking shit again. I was like, bro, I tried to tell y'all. <laughs> like, let's not, bro, let's not even forget, though. This nigga beef with his mama. No, he yeah, come beef on, with your bro. Mama. She was in the hospital, bro, but you can call her a crackhead later on, bro. Come on, bro. Hey, that shit crazy. What? Like, this nigga... Man, bro, that nigga is ruthless, bro. This nigga called his mom a crackhead. <laughs> I mean, his mama was trying to expose his ass, though. That was funny. Yeah, well. I mean, but I still feel some type of way about that whole situation, but I ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> Stiff on me, bitch. Yeah. Get up, Jim. Why you slow, man? Bitch? Yeah, man, that's, that's unfortunate, bro. Oh, I mean, man, I'm sure he's gonna squash it with his mom by now. You got to. Well, hopefully. Ain't no yeah, got to. I mean, but hopefully. I don't about Soulja Boy, bro. What? I don't tell about that nigga, dog. Huh? I say, ain't no telling about that nigga. He probably ain't squashed that shit, bro. 
Yeah, bro. I mean, let's let's hope he did. But, bro, yeah. Who knows, bro? Who the hey, bro? Y'all remember this nigga was beefing with Kodak? Them Haitians made that video. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, he's about to put that voodoo on that nigga, man. <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga went to back and like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit, boy. <laughs> And they did the same thing to Rich the Kid, bro. Rich the Kid talking that shit back. Bro, they did, bro. They did, though. They did, bro. They came for that nigga, bro. They came for Rich the Kid, bro. And he was in jail, too. Like, yeah, you know what? I really want to tell the nigga he came with me. <laughs> they know Haitian put out that video with him putting that curse on his ass. Man, bro, them niggas. <laughs> hey, bro, I don't know what I'd do, though, bro. Some niggas send me a fucking video. With, 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 with all black, can't see shit. I just hear niggas got them screaming in another language, bro. Angrily. Oh, bro. Uh-oh. This is OV. <laughs> that, that beat over, nigga. I don't want to hear Like, I ain't even talking hey, about it no more. Hey, Rich the Kid, bro. I ain't going to lie. Rich the Kid, bro. I ain't going to lie. Oh, yeah. We like. Yo, I ain't going to bite that side of all. That's out of time, bro. Boy, nigga, bro. Stand down your shit, nigga. When them. Man, but all over a uh, feature though, you think all that necessary, y'all, bro? No, I don't, bro. I told I told Jack Boy, I said, bro, you got you can't treat the fucking industry like the streets, bro. These niggas don't go by the same principles, man. And plus, you <laughs> you on some other stuff now, bro. You got to stay clear of that fucker. For real though, that nigga talking about nigga. I got them zones on you, bro. But like, he was serious about that shit. Though. That nigga put some real pressure on Richard McCoy. He would have came like they wait. That nigga put some real pressure on his ass, dog. No flip. Like, that boy oh, is mean, for real, for real. Like, no lie. Uh, bruh, I don't got no reason to believe that nigga would not go apply no pressure, bruh. I've been listening to Kodak for a minute, bruh. And this nigga been... This nigga stayed talking about Jack Boy, bruh. Yeah, Jack Boy. Jack Boy was out here for real, for real. Him, Huncho <laughs> Savage, and them nigga like over there. Shit, yeah, them boys out here for real, bruh. The boys ain't nothing to play with, man. And they'll do they they'll do the shit themselves. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know they got like a rock career. Bro, look at that, bro. Look at that nigga's face, bro. I have no reason to believe that nigga won't do that shit, bro. If a nigga, I, I don't know. Like that nigga look like a demon, bro. The fuck I'm finna fuck around with him for? You want a feature? Hey, bro. Let me drop you a sixteen real quick, bro. Good, <laughs> you know that nigga. Uh, I mean, Rich Homie Quan, bro. He kind of known for not fucking with niggas and they oh, shit on their features, bro. Right? Like, like uh, <clears throat> Rallo. Yeah. <laughs> you seen that, right there? that shit with a? I mean, what am I kind of crossing a boundary or something? I mean, like, I'm, I'm just talking about what's already out there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That that was on some personal shit too. I don't think that just yeah. was no feature. That was some hey. personal shit. Yeah. Hey, I think Rich on the sister like she kind of toned that shit down when it was reaching like a boiling point. I was like, <laughs> I like a mutual respect between her and Rollo. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Rallo another person though. I fuck with Rallo, but he need to sit down with all that internet shit, man. Like, hey man, Rallo a bully, bro. <laughs> for real, like I be like, damn, bro, this nigga Rallo be at somebody neck every damn two weeks. <laughs> but some, but, I, don't know. Man, I think like, he got to do it like fun if he had a pressure on him right now. He got, he got that case over here right now. He can't do too much fucking. I think Blake would have responded to Rallo. Bro, okay, bro, okay, okay, bro. That was about to be my. You still don't need. Don't your phone, your phone went out, bro. No, 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 no. no. It was uh, should I have got like sidetracked by some shit? But nah, should I was just about to say though, like <laughs> why y'all thought Black Youngster was so quiet. <laughs> I mean, shit, bro. Let's think about it. Black youngster still, even with the case on him, he still didn't goddamn give a fucking go. I mean, shit, he went and made birthday. Yeah. After he got locked up and shit. 
So why not respond to Rallo? I don't know, bro. I really feel like Rallo really got a presence out there, bro. I mean, which, oh, I you know. Yeah, he a real street dude. Yeah, I ain't gonna say yeah, he's yeah, not. Like, he really ain't the street, but I don't know. I mean, but I ain't gonna sit here and say Black Young staying in the streets. I think he in the streets too. I just don't. don't he, he, he for real out here. So I don't know <clears throat> why he wouldn't respond. I mean, but I did want the, the shit to stop though. I ain't even gonna lie, cause that shit with them two could have went to a whole nother level. Like hell yeah, yeah boy, awesome, for real, <laughs> like that. Yeah, bro, but for. But I ain't gonna flex though for like for no reason, bro. Cause this shit really had nothing to do with Rallo, bro. It didn't. But I mean, Rallo, that type of nigga, he gonna he gonna stand up for his niggas or jump in for his niggas even when not asked. You know what I'm saying? Like, he yeah. People, like, I mean, man. shit, that nigga Dolph got shit. Dolph got paper out for that. True. That's still his niggas though. He still gonna say something. Now y'all see Big Motor talking shit about um uh, claiming paper right. Talking Ooh. shit about Black Youngster. Nah, I ain't see that. Big Motor. Oh, Big Motor, the nigga that took uh, Shot Guzzy Chain? Or the nigga that like, had something to do with it? Yeah. How long ago was that? So big. Shit, wow. that's what I'm In the 2015? Like the beginning? Yeah, it was the beginning of twenty. Uh, uh, it was at the end of twenty fifteen, like the beginning of twenty sixteen. It was, cause I remember that nigga said, <laughs> I remember that nigga academic this, this that nigga shot Glizzy on there. I guess cause he he dissed him in that song. He was like, well, nigga, I hope you get more uh shit tour dates than your chain do next year. And I think it was like at the end of December when he said that shit. So it was a minute. So she say motor dissing youngster. Yeah. Mm. So, y'all, uh, what y'all think about Skipper leaving QC? Wait, he left? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think he left like a, a long time ago, bro, actually. Bro, like, I ain't really been keeping up with Skipper like that, like, musically and shit, but I do follow him on Instagram. I do see him posting up his shit. I mean, should I watch his snippets and shit like that? But something like, something. Something been telling me for a minute that he's kind of been separating himself away from like the whole QC and the Migos too, bro. Like I don't really see him with them like that. I know they still cool, but it seemed like he doing his own thing for real, for real. Like he got his own having movement type shit. So he yeah, doing his you, thing. You think that was a good move? Yeah, bro. You got to separate yourself, man. I mean, Rich the Kid even did it, you know, because Rich the Kid at one point in time, every time you thought about the Migos, <laughs> you thought about Rich the Kid. Now Rich the Kid then ventured off. And I kind of want to uh, come back to Rich the Kid, bro. But <clears throat> you see, Rich the Kid, he didn't venture off and shit, you know, became his own boss and shit, started signing everybody. And I mean, like, you know that he's still cool with the Migos and shit. Them niggas just ain't like all up under each other like they was back in the day. That whole squad. I mean, sometimes you got to do that, though, to get your own. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hell yeah. Because. If he well, you was, can't be in nobody's shadow, bro. Yeah, I'll just been say because you know it's gonna always be like, oh, that's the the fourth honorary member of the Migos, or oh, that's the fifth honorary. Like, like even with Mango that's what Fool, they was like I, I think they be trying to make him seem like he like a honorary member of the Migos, but that boy can spit. I like Mango Fool. Yeah, Mango's nice, man. Yeah, he got a nice flow. Um, shit, I just kind of wish his lyrical shit would be a little bit better. I wish he would change his name. Nigga, when I heard Mango Fool, I was like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Nigga, bruh. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And Domingo. But nah, shit, I fuck with Domingo. I like that name, too. That shit cool. But, but uh, yeah, Mango Fool, yeah, that shit sound funny. But he can't rap, though. Oh, shit, but back to Rich the Kid, though, bruh. Do y'all think that... that that Rich the Kid is like a vulture, in a way. What you mean? Um, what you mean? What you... No, I think because every time I see Rich the Kid, uh, sorry, I boss shit niggas. They wanted me to explain real quick. Okay. Yeah, bro, because like first he went out and like started fucking with Dex, then he started <clears throat> fucking with like Punk, 
Then he started fucking with like goddamn Jay Critch. Then bro, it's like every time someone is hot, it's like Rich the Kid's the first nigga on him. On some Drake shit. <laughs> I mean, low bro, low key, bro, low key. He's like, I guess he might be like the like the mumble rap Drake. <laughs> like when it comes to that. <laughs> well, I mean, I bro, cause. I don't know. I, bro, like, I can't blame him. Dude. No flex, bro. If, if he trying to get that money and get his, his record label off the ground, I mean, I can't blame him. But, I mean, I guess you can say that for real, for real. Yeah. What you think, um, Abba, what you think, bro? Rich Kids are one of those niggas who going to do whatever it takes there. Stay in the spotlight and get on, bro. <laughs> so, as far as like a a, a pure outright vulture, uh, I would I would say I that, bro. I would say that. I would say that, bro. I would say that. He, okay. he just one of them niggas who just gonna ride the wave, bro. Yeah. As far as like him being a vulture, outright vulture, I don't see it, dog. I mean, at right. least I mean, he ain't yeah, like, like Drake, though. You know what I'm saying? He ain't hopping on they top singles every time. You yeah, I know what. Exactly, like, bro. I don't. I, I can't say outright vulture. He gonna ride a nigga wave for sure now. I ain't, I ain't gonna flex for that. But like a pure vulture, I don't see it. Like that nigga Drake so, for real come take your number one single and then throw you to the side. So they gonna take yeah, your, yeah. Your, your style and everything, bro. <laughs> take everything, nigga. Have you thinking? Nah, you see, Rich. Rich the kid just wanna nah, get see, like Rich. He gonna look out for you. Yeah, nah, see, Rich the kid wanna throw you a bag, bro. Like, bro, he wanna throw you a bag to come sign, bro. So, and Rich uh, the kid, he just, he just wanna get in the pictures with you, sign you or some shit like that. He ain't gonna just outright take your style. <laughs> but nah, that's yeah. not shit, man. No, nah, that's why I can't call him a puncher, bro. I was kind of yeah. hesitant because at one point I was like, damn, this nigga might be a vulture. That's why I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think I had to like, like, damn. I had to see yeah, I'm really telling you, bro, like, <laughs> bro, because, man, like, he been on, he been on a lot of new artists, but, I mean, shit, bro, you can't get mad at a young nigga trying to be a boss, bro. Yeah, yeah exactly, dog. As long as you ain't doing, like, a fucked up, like, yeah, like Drake, bro. Drake go, like, about it and with fucked up intentions and ways but rich the kid like like you say he just want to take a picture with you on instagram and put a the something way caption or something like that and then you know this do a couple drake, instagram snippets this nigga drake wore a zion Williams from jersey bro. oh lord <laughs> he wore scholar dig in jersey i don't see him wearing that he one fucking with right john now. wall with john wall for he came in the league Bro, they, 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 I can say Drake is the sports world, bro. At least I heard Drake be doing a little recruit. <laughs> he probably do for real, dude. <laughs> for like college, for, for this certain mm-hmm. college, bro, allegedly. Oh, for the raps? Hey, bro. No, for college, for this college team. Oh, oh I heard about it. No, we ain't going to speak. Yeah, yeah. we're we going <laughs> to say, we say allegedly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did hear something about that. I ain't even going to lie to you. I hate, I mean... I hate. That I know they have fine though. Because she date. I, I don't know. I really fuck with Drake, bro. But that shit be hurting me to see how he is, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, Drake. I fuck with his strong too, but I know the feeling. I know exactly how you like, feel. I bro. hate that, bro. Like I really like, bro. I ain't even gonna sit here and flex to you. Like niggas gonna think I'm like academic or something, but. Like, nigga, I used to watch the grassy, bro. So I seen Drake when he was like wheelchair Jimmy and shit. And goddamn, you know, I used to listen to all his music when he first came out. And I still do. But, like, I was a big fan of bro. And, like, when I started seeing, like, the industry stuff he was doing, I was like, damn. Like, that's kind of yeah, fucked great. up. Like, <laughs> then I seen how he did, uh, what that nigga name? I love Mackinac McConey. Whatever. <laughs> that hit single and then Drake pushed his ass to the side like boy I got your single now it's over with like that's kind of fucked up you know like you you take somebody from the street and you give them a chance and you show them a new world you know what I'm saying like you show them that it's more out here 
with this music stuff and then to get their hopes up and have them thinking like they gonna be somebody and they gonna make a living off this shit and you know get their family out the hood da 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 whatever the case may be and then you just basically like stop answering the phone stop fucking with them you ain't they can't come to meetings no more you know what i'm saying just isolate the dude like that that's kind of fucked up like it ain't kind of it is fucked up y'all think that uh shit that twitter rant he did on drake has something to do with it like maybe it just made him really just say uh you know what fuck it probably bro yeah because drake he'll do he'll let some shit like that get to him now (laughs) bro is what i'm saying bro he's very sensitive and malicious (laughs) <laughs> mm, it's just a lot of it's a lot of fuckery going on in the industry bro like even with the, the record labels and these 360 deals man it's like you like the whole young boy situation you giving this man <laughs> a way out but it's like really it's, it's a way to a dead end cause you yeah. think you getting out but I don't know if I can do that bro yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like next year, you could be back on the street, bro, and nobody listening to your music. You like, you could be hot one minute, and tomorrow you, you back to a regular dude. Like that is fucked up. Exactly, bro. It was already small like that. It kind of like when you when you first when you first get on, bro. You gotta understand. You gotta make some kind of adjustments. I know you want to keep the same niggas that with you, but if they not industry smart enough to try to maneuver when they come to contracts and things like that, you gotta be like, all right, bro. You need to step to the side on this one right here. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like with the young boy situation, somebody should have been in there. Like, no, nah, bro. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it. Cause just just that looking at that up. deal, like. <sighs> Oh, no, what you say? That nigga should have called up. He should have called up Master P. For real. <laughs> Somebody, bro, because that is, that is uh, crazy. Like, they robbed that boy. Like, two million. For what? For what did he say? Five albums? Five albums. For two but, million. Bro, like, but think about it though, like bro, the way that niggas do shit though, like nowadays niggas is dropping like two two projects a year, if not more. Yeah, you, you, yeah, cause then he, he just dropped the project when he first got out of jail, and then came back, and dropped the. Uh, he should have waited till he signed. He should have waited till he signed that deal to drop AI Young Boy. That could have already been one up in his belt. I just want to see. I just want to see these niggas win, bruh, and the right way, you know what I'm saying? What well, they gonna benefit the most. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I want to see them eat and be able to continue eating, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to eat for a minute, partially, you feel me? Like, them 360 deals, you be eating for a quick second, then if you ain't smart about it, if you ain't investing your money, it's like, shit, you gonna be broke the next year. Yeah, you go owe the label. Owe the label, <laughs> hell of money. You got to pay back for going to the studio and getting video shot. And, you know, like, build you a team before you sign. So you ain't got to really ask for much. You know what I'm saying? Get your paperwork right so you getting your, your, your publishing and all that. Like, get all that straight before you sign the deal. Yeah, man. Now, you know what I just thought about, bro? Who? After y'all said that black youngster situation. Like during the whole COG campaign, well, like recently, I ain't been seeing Zay and Zilla, bro. Is, oh, is he yeah. still? You ain't been seeing who? Zay and Zilla. Hey, I'm, I ain't been seeing them like that. So, Hold on, who? Like, Zay and Zilla. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> he was signed to COG, dog. Like <laughs> he got like a heavy street presence. And that tells you right there if you say who the fuck is that. That tells you right there, <laughs> like shit over with. Niggas out here losing hey, everything. And no disrespect to you know whoever that is or whatever. I just didn't know. Like shit, I wasn't trying to sound like oh who the fuck is that. Yeah, nah, the, nah. the nigga ain't garbage, bro. Nah, but that's what I'm saying. He ain't garbage, but he ain't getting the push. You feel me? If you don't know about him, it's like you ain't getting that big push. I was like. 
Now, there's a lot of niggas that ain't garbage that affiliated with certain rappers that need that push, bro. All they need is that push. Like, I'm still on my Davies train. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Davies, the best rapper. Bro, that nigga know. nice. Davies, join the Lucas. I don't care. Any, anybody can debate me about it. I don't care. I right, didn't get my favorite two rappers right now. Yeah, man. It's like. Davies is like an obvious thing right now. I'm just speaking on niggas who need that push, bro. Who need, who need the extra push? No, nah, but Davies like, ain't even get the push when he needed it. Cause that man been making music for years, but he just now really getting out there because of uh, Nas. Mhm. Mm like. Yeah, Nas fucking with him heavy. Yeah, Nas fucking with uh, Davies heavy. Like it's, it's a lot of people in Atlanta right now that should be out, but they ain't getting that push that they need. I also forgot what song I heard the other day, bro. I was intending to ask you about it, say. Damn, what the name of that song, man? It's a song going crazy in the streets, bro. Yeah, it's a oh, nigga, uh, my boy, my boy, he's staying in Clayco. He was telling me about it. A nigga named Derez. He got that uh, Hardaway song. That shit going crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all did the video on that. I heard that shit in the car on the radio. I was like, damn, what the fuck it is? And my partner told me about it. Like, he know him personally and shit. Oh my god. It's called what? Uh, Hardaway. I'm about to raise. <clears throat> niggas ain't gonna niggas ain't gonna hear about none of that shit out here for a while. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it ain't be so late to get shit, bro. Hey niggas hey bro, the radio out here, they so damn whack, bro. Them niggas play trap music on the weekends, bro. They wanna play all that like the new pop in Atlanta shit on the weekends, bro. I'd be like, bro. Oh yeah, they don't play the they, uh, Black Quake, Tornado. Oh, yeah, that my boy, that my brother, man. <laughs> my, that shit ride, boy. Yeah, that my brother, man. That nigga, he that came out with this shit. I forgot. I was playing that shit all on my goddamn Madden video. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, bro. It was one song you was playing in the beginning of one of them, bro. You said it was your brother, bro. That shit was going hard as fuck, bro. That shit go crazy, boy. Yeah. It, it, it do, bro. He got hella. He got hella uh, potential, bro, and talent, bro. That shit's fire. I tried telling the nigga, but he pushed that shit, though. He pushing it right now. He, he doing what he got to do with it. I told him, I'm going to do what I can, you know, try to put it out here and there. Yeah, hey, man. Shit, you putting it out to your audience, Great, you know what bro. I'm saying? So. How I found out about the nigga, uh, I got a partner who a producer in the industry. He named Nash B. Yeah, yeah, he fucked with that nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, he, he wrote, I mean, he produced on uh, Jack Weeks. On B E D. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so and, and a song called Future album, like me and that nigga from the folks I make, like we personal partners, like be hanging out of shit. Yeah, you know, uh my boy my brother, he he fuck with that nigga. Right he fuck with uh yeah. Jacquees so, and uh, I'm be late, so wait, wait, tell me. I could have got some of my way here. So AJ. When he co signed that shit, I was like, man, let me go check it out. And at least I'm like, this shit right. I gotta go to <laughs> My boy, man. that nigga, he gonna get out there eventually, man. Like I told him, he just gotta keep huh? going. He can't, even though they his first project, man. He gotta I mean, keep hitting them in the head with new shit. Great street, fuck with him. I don't know. Shit, he need to. Everybody need to fuck with him <laughs> for real, for real. Yeah, cause that shit go down. No flex. Like, okay. um, do, do great street still be cosigning like in this like YouTube? Yeah, my really, I mean, he do, but I don't really be seeing it. Yeah, Greg Street used to have a fucking... Anytime he spoke your deck co-sign right up, boy, you used to take your ass. You shoot your ass to the moon, boy. <laughs> For real, bro. When Greg Street co sign niggas, bro. That shit used to shoot niggas to the moon, dog. <clears throat> I mean, now it's all about what? Hot 107.9 niggas on there, like J Nicks and all that. That's all I be really hearing. It just see what you've been in the game a long time, bro. Hey, man, me and my other boy were talking about that the other day with the whole uh, Stewie Rock shit. Yeah, Rap <laughs> City. <laughs> like, we used to fuck with that shit. But I don't know, man. I hate that it's the way it is now. Like, 
I think a lot of artists are not going to get in the industry like they want to just because, not, not even the industry, just get into a position where you can provide for yourself. Like, if, if, if people would pay attention to the music and not so much of the dumb shit that some of these rappers do, I think that would be best. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to hear about an artist's music, you know what I'm saying? I don't always want to hear about the dumb shit, like, oh, exactly. this nigga got shot, or he got beat up, or, or they ran up on him, like, but what about the music, though? Is you a rapper, or is you a boxer, <laughs> nigga? Like, what's going on? That's really what it be, though. Like, there's a lot of these niggas, I, I could tell you, like, you know, four or five different stupid-ass things they didn't did in the media, but then it's like, Hell of shit, I can't like shit. I can't tell you about a song, so. I don't even know not one name of their song. <laughs> like, what do you put out? Uh, what y'all think Schoolie needs to be some takeover, bro? I told you last time, I think Schoolie just gotta keep going, bro. I don't know. He just gotta keep pushing, bro. He can't let all this bullshit get to him. Cause I seen, like, when he put a World Star video out, people were going in on, like, talking hell of shit. I was like, damn. For real? <laughs> yeah, like, damn, nigga. I forgot what it was. He was on, like, a rooftop rapping and shit. <clears throat> but, like, niggas was going in in the comments. But, you know, world style, they always be clowning people. But yeah. they were goddamn, like, going in on this man. So I'm like. I, I did a video on it. When I did a video on him, he was in the comment, like, who is school? I'm like. <laughs> like, damn. Like, like, bruh, nah, bruh, nah, bruh, bruh. But you gotta think about it, bruh. If you're not like a big ass name to like withstand like generations, like a, like a Jeezy or a Gucci or a Ti or you know a Luda, just any nigga like that, like a big ass name. If you ain't doing shit out in the goddamn streets and making moves and making ways and shit, bruh, niggas gonna forget about you or not know who the fuck you are. You, I mean, she got to think. A lot of niggas, you said that was in your comments, eyeball, like your videos and shit? Yeah, I did a video on school and I was like, you know, just talking about them or whatever. I mean, some of your audience could be young ass niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, a lot of these niggas is probably like, bro, what happened on, on, on a fucking uh, everyday struggle? I don't know if it was like a new episode or what, bro, but shit, the niggas have said like since... Since 2011, they said that was like two rap generations ago, bro. Like, they said like 2011 is like two rap generations, bro. Like, that's what academics says. Like, every like three years or something, bro. Like, it's like a new generation and shit. It's just true, bro. Like, Nick, I guarantee you a lot of niggas don't know who the hell Sahi the Prince is either. Man, he one of the Real best rappers sport, out of Atlanta, bro. man. I ain't, man. Bars. <laughs> Fucking bars. <laughs> yeah, bars. bro. It, Exactly, and it sucks that his career never really took off like that. Like nigga, one time, one time I had got at him on Twitter. I'm like, bruh, drop some fucking music, bro. You too far. And this nigga responded like, bruh, I understand that, bruh, and I appreciate that shit too. But it's a business side that you just don't know about or whatever. I'm like, damn, well, shit, nigga, you talking about some shit I can't even relate to. So you hey, got it. So I say he got to get it in the streets, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cause after a while, bro, you just give up on it. Cause it's like, shit. He, he deep down inside, he know he one of the most talented people out of Atlanta, but bro. he ain't gonna get that shine just because he ain't on the internet popping off and all this other shit. This, this hey, one I did my nigga with Dylan, bro. I said, oh shit, they finna blackball him when they went out on Kanye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, you already know. So my nigga done, bro. Oh, he did though, bro. He did go off on that nigga, bro. Like he, <laughs> hey, bro. Who the fuck else that went off on Kanye and got blackballed? Consequence. <laughs> and that was his family, I think, bro. I think them niggas related. She is. <laughs> so how was it fucking? Hello, what you say? Hey, uh, Bob, what you, you, you listen to, uh, since we were talking about schooling, you think uh, Costa Nostra kid get, got a, a chance? I like him, bro. I like him. I think, I, think, 
I, I think he got I think he got a chance to make that type of wave uh, I ain't gonna say that that global global, you know what I'm saying? But he a young nigga though. That one like he yeah. really could got down get the attention of these young folk. See? Yeah. He he's still in that age bracket. Cause I'm right with this shit strong. I was listening to this shit when it was like three days ago. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with the money. All I think, all he need to do, bro, is just stay consistent. <laughs> yeah. You gotta stay consistent, bro. That that be a lot of people' problem, though. But <clears throat> it's like I don't know. In the words, of, I don't know how. Like I ain't gonna say I don't know how to be consistent, but like I don't know how consistent shit a person be because. You it's it's two type of consistency. Like it's, it's what you saying like oversaturate yourself? Yeah, it's like it's the consistency where you putting out at least a song every month, but you know what I'm saying, you still giving your fans something to listen to. But uh-huh. then you got the famous decks where you like you posting a video every day and it's like do it worked for him, but does it work for anybody else? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. man, so people gotta stop. Yeah, hey, I mean, yeah, bro. Shit, it's like two different type of like techniques with the shit. Some people want to starve their folks and make them like want it, like be hungry for it. Hell, what about like Uzi or whatever? It took that nigga forever to drop his debut album. I think it. True. I think them niggas waited for everyone else in his class to do that shit first, and then and then he was gonna drop after everybody else, bro. That's what it seemed like. That because right after Twenty One dropped, dude, then Uzi did. And I think Twenty One was like the last nigga to like to drop his album. So, but you got to think, bro. If you, if you, better than people thought. Like, man, bro, Twenty One, man, shit, bro. People fuck with Twenty One, bro. People fuck with Twenty One. Like some people talk shit, but Twenty One is, uh, believe it or not, Twenty One Savage is a household name right now, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Bro, when I went to the Bryce That's and Taylor concert, team, bro. bro. Y'all should have heard, like, if you was there and you would have heard how the fans reacted. Like, on the video, it don't do it no justice, bro. I'm talking about when this man came out, you just heard the whole goddamn arena or the Fox Theater. They just went crazy, like, oh, shit. (laughs) Damn, like, it's like that. Like, (laughs) I ain't know he had it like that. Man, bro, for real. But shit, like, like being consistent, I feel like being consistent is good, bro. Like, bro, you could be as consistent as you want to be as long as everything you drop in is five, bro. Like, think about Wayne. Wayne was so consistent in 2007, bro. That nigga had, like, 77 songs, bro. He had dropped, like, three mixtapes in one year, three, four mixtapes. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying, though. But th- that same concept. It was quality, though. It was quality music. But it don't, it, I don't know, it don't work for everybody, bro. That's, I mean, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Because. Uh, do y'all think that Drake oversaturates? I think he used to. I don't think he does now. Back in the day, he I think, did. I think with that last, with the last album, Drake thought he just fucking, he had this shit sold. So, he was like, <laughs> I just put something out that I don't put too much. Too, too much effort in, and this shit still gonna sell. And I think that shit was a wake up call for him on that last album. Like, all right, nigga, you still ass. You gotta get back. No. Back yeah, bro. Like, not only that, bro, but then, like, to add insult to injury, Kendrick came behind him and sold more Ooh. than him. Exactly, bro. Killed this whole thing. No, that shit hurt. I'm glad that shit happened, bro, so Drake can get motivated again. Like, Kendrick on top right now. Yeah, bro. Like, like, Kendrick at the or top. Or wake right up now. or something. Like as far as you know, back in the day, Drake had it both. He 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 was winning everything, but now it's like Kendrick done snuck in and took that shit. Bro, I'm glad though, bro. Like yeah, bro. Drake was a little too damn cocky, bro. Someone had to knock him a little bit down, back to earth. And you know he did when he did a a fucking um. <laughs> and bro, sometimes. Joe Budden, that nigga is like crazy sometimes because he'll like clearly contradict himself within seconds, bro. But he be making some good ass sense. Like, <laughs> bro, he does, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, bro. Bro, I watched like three episodes of Everyday Struggle today, bro. This nigga had me crying laughing because I would just catch this nigga. I'm like, bro, 
Bruh, bruh, that shit does not go with what you just said. I don't know. But, shit, but anyway, <laughs> he, um, like, I remember when Kendrick came out and saw more to him, and then Drake, like, gave him, like, some type of congrats. That, like, bruh, you only did that shit because you mad. That's the reason why, like, Joe Budden even said that shit, like, I fuck with Joe Budden. He contradict himself, but he be making the points, bro. We be thinking on the same shit a lot, bro. But, yeah, yeah. like, Kendrick, you know, knock Drake back down to earth a little bit with that, with that damn album. Yeah. That shit, that shit human nature, though, bro. Like, even when they come to YouTube, you be that grinding so hard consistently, bro. And, and sometimes you be like, man, I can take a break for a day or so. But you come back, you be feeling like you took a two week break. Nigga be like, yeah. where you at? Boy, why you ain't upload? Nigga, it was a day. It was a one day. So you have to find that motivation to spark yourself like consistently, bro. Consistently, like on a daily basis, bro. It don't take, bro. It don't take more than a day to lose motivation for something, bro. Like some, sometimes you could just take a break that one day, bro, and that turn into like three, four days, yeah. bro. You just fall yeah. into a funk. Because that second day, you be it. like, ah, fuck it. Third day, you be like, nah, I'm gonna get back to it. Nah, I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> then you be having like personal shit going on. You be like, damn, I gotta tell this shit. My yeah. personal shit. Hell yeah. Then you get back on Instagram and every post that you see in is damn like fucking three, four days old and shit. And then you yeah. you report about it. Somebody be like, oh, you late as hell. <laughs> Nigga. I know like <laughs> but I'm trying still, to make up for lost time though. Yeah, I'm putting it out to my fan base. I, I know it's late, but okay. <laughs> Hey But yo with that Joe Bud shit, bro, that nigga funny as hell. Like you say, he be contradicting himself, but I fuck with Joe though. Yeah, cause if you I shit, I almost did that on the podcast today, bro. That's why I had to stop myself <laughs> while I said something. With Stone like, man, do you think you think on uh, Risky Kill on uh, Culture Vulture? The stuff off in the state. I'm like, damn, this is what I'm doing. kill his ass. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, so I had to think about it like, fuck, let me um, say something else about this nigga, bro. But yeah, man, that shit can happen over a span of time, especially when you're on that bit for hours, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You be rambling I mean, so much, man. <laughs> you be rambling hey, so much, bro. bro. You're like, man, what the fuck I said earlier? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, bro, Joe Buddy. I don't know if y'all seen the episode they did today, bro. They had a whole episode dedicated to Cam, bro. Oh, so this nigga was like, at the beginning, he was like, I can name 35, 40 artists better than Cam. By the end of that show, that nigga was down to like, okay, I could probably name 20, 20 artists better than Cam. I'm like, bro, this nigga is crazy, bro. Like, he just kept, bro, he just kept lowering the number throughout the episode, bro. Like, this nigga is funny. Like, Joe Budden is funny as fuck. But that's what I'm saying. He's a character, bro. Like, you know, he's speaking facts sometimes, but then you hear him, you get like, shut the fuck up, Joe. Like, you tripping, cuz. Bro, yes, bro, yeah, bro. Exactly. Like, like, you fuck with him, but you be like, all right. Hey, nigga, you tripping sometimes. Like, for real. You play too much, bro. (laughs) <laughs> and when when it comes to a nigga like Cam, bro, I look at him. Of course, you got to add in the music or whatever, but I look I look at him as a legend outside of I was just about to say, bro. bro, he a legend a in this shit, bro. I don't give a fuck. That nigga Cam started a lot of shit. Exactly. Yeah, it's a combination of things with Cam, bro. Oh, shit. Hey, my boy Corey. Oh, my boy Corey in here. Uh, he said, uh, <laughs> bro. Uh, what y'all think about Trippy Red? <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, he got he Trippy got a red. I just man, I, I rock with I rock with some of the songs, bro. I respect his grind. But I'm gonna you know, say yeah. the same thing I say all the time. Trippy red, I fuck with you, but you can't stop deny the, the fact. That you need to stop doing them motherfucking features, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> them shits be fucking your songs up, bro. I don't know how many songs I done heard, and I be like, boy, this shit hard. Oh, boy, this all right. And then the second nigga come on, I be like, bro, turn that shit off, bro. Turn it bro, off. Bro, you got to understand, though, dog. How, how that shit going to look here in the studio and the nigga be like, shit, let me get on, nigga. Like, person, I know, you know, bro. I know that's it, boys. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got to put your boys on. But you got to put them niggas on the track that you ain't trying to put out. If you know they can't rap, bro, look, it is what it is, bro. You just got to tell them, like, look, man, hey, I'm trying to save this for the mixtape, so y'all hop on this. You know, we'll put this out. This your song, you know what I'm saying? This ain't my song. This your song. 
You put it out. Sometimes bro, I can have to tell niggas no before, bro. Like, because I knew they couldn't rap. Like, ain't nothing personal. But sometimes me, you got LeBron in the situation, bro. You got to be like, hey, bro, let me carry this weight right here. And solidify this shit. And I can bring y'all in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, LeBron, right. that shit. Mm -hmm. Just right. My favorite song from Trippy. He got some dude on the second verse, and I was like, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let that shit go. But I think he can. Hey. I think he can. He can. He can make it out there. It's just he ain't trash to me. Too. Yeah, he ain't trash. I mean, I, when people say the little Uzi thing, I do hear the similarities. I'm not gonna lie and say I don't like. Sometimes yeah. I do hear the little Uzi similarities, but that goes back to. You just don't know when the person came out because I hate that too. Because sometimes, like, we don't know for a fact if Uzi was making music before Trippy, you know what I'm saying? We don't know who sounded like what first, so I really can't say. But because people knew about Lil Uzi first, they gonna always assume that Trippy trying to be like Uzi. Yeah, I mean, shit, it's always gonna be like that, bro. If you you know, whoever you hear about first is who you gonna give credit to. That's just human nature. Exactly, um, bro. See, that be that be the same with YouTube shit, bro. Yeah. People be taking certain shit from people, but they have more soul, so the people be thinking they know oh, about this. this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> exactly, you, you really can't say nothing about it. I mean, just keep grinding. And come on, how many times have we heard before of the the bigger act or the bigger, you know, the bigger name looking? You know, in the trenches for 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 fucking diamonds in the rough from the, the smaller known people take five shit from them and then go on the run with it. Uh, that's in every type of. I don't care what it is. Not even just in music. My girl was telling me some shit about Kylie Jenner. How she getting sued because she done stole lip kits and makeup and stuff. She done stole ideas from people around the world like, mm -hmm. like yeah i heard that too bro like yeah she takes a fat lawsuit stealing you know what i'm saying and it's like damn you rich as hell you already out there what you gotta steal for but that's how it is people on youtube i done seen people with three four hundred thousand subscribers steal from a nigga with five thousand subscribers it's, yeah. it's just how it is yeah <clears throat> bro cop Chris Jenner posted a picture today, bro. On, on, oh, I seen that on, on your IG. Twitter. Yeah, I seen bro. that. Oh, yeah, that crocodile. Oh, yeah, I like that shit on your Instagram, bro. I was like, what? Like, bro, what did they do? Did they take that shit and just, like, reverse Google search that motherfucker and find out where that shit came from, bro? Bro. Why? Why That's would you sad, do that? This, bro, is a, bro. this is a legit tragedy, and you sitting up here Googling images and posting them on here. Hey, man. Oh, my God. Listen, bro. My, my friend, I guarantee my you they got they, they, they Instagram likes monetized, they Instagram picture monetized. You know, bro, the fucking Kardashians and the Jenners, bro, they capitalized off everything to make money, bro. Yeah, I just realized that like a week ago that you could make money off of Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that shit is extremely lucrative. I didn't know that, but hey. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can be like, like that, though, you get bro. off of what like likes and views and shit. Yeah, I didn't know you could get paid for that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do my research on that motherfucker, bro. We might gotta get this Instagram popping. You know, you ain't though. never looked on Social Blade, nigga. Why you think they got Instagram, Twitter, and they got YouTube and Twitch and stuff like? Cause you can make money huh? off of Instagram. Like. And you know the motherfuckers that be doing them little sponsorship, like them bra ads and stuff. And they make the video of them putting the yeah. bra on. Nigga, they get paid for that. Yeah, yeah, bro. They get like 10 Yeah, yeah, they uh, getting paid, too, to get trash in their comments. Because every time someone advertises that shit, they kill them in the comments. Like, you know that <laughs> bullshit don't, don't work. That's yeah, why someone turned the camera Hey, they be killing me. They be... <laughs> they, they do though. They do. They be disabled and fuck out the kind of like, oh uh, shit, nigga. When I seen Boonk and Funny Mike post that, that little ad, bro, that looks suspicious as fuck. Them <laughs> niggas took the comments. <laughs> <laughs> they like, fuck that. Cause they already know what's I'm up. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas, y'all trying to finesse. Yeah, bro, they know they trying to finesse niggas, bro. 
But shit, nigga be offering them like racks to post that shit. So I don't blame him. Shit. <laughs> Somebody sent me some ads, nigga. I'll post that shit. Fuck. <laughs> I need you know, I'm trying to switch up anyway. But like I told you, the live stream is the only thing I'm keeping, like, all natural. Fuck it. Cuss. Do what you want to do. But my regular videos? Nope. I'm not cussing. Oh. oh, no. I'm not cussing. I'm not saying none of that. I don't care. It is what it is. Especially on that new channel. The new channel, bro. I love, I love that bit low key. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm I love my gaming channel right now. There ain't no problems. I ain't gotta worry about no haters. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. I'm good. I'm Gucci. Say let's go gaming. People don't understand how much hell I went through with that Zayesco channel, bro. I was. It wasn't even me not wanting to do the shit half the time. It was just me fucking depressed because. What was going on? Like, you wake up and just see a copyright strike. You know how that feel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know how that shit you. feel. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it sucked the soul out of you, bro. Like, you put all, like, I spent hours and hours making these videos. And then I wake up just to see somebody put a fake copyright claim in on my video. Now they taking all my little money that I got for it. And... You ain't put you ain't putting no effort into helping me with this video, bitch. You ain't do shit. You 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 wasn't in exactly, this room bro. with me making this shit, but you you taking my money and then I hit up YouTube and it's no way I can fucking you know stop it. Exactly, bro. YouTube, you sending folks them bullshit ass email responses. Like. Come on, man. Like, I understand you. But it don't be nothing for them to get in contact with you when it's a problem, though. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, that can hit you up. <laughs> they can hit you up like it ain't nothing, bro. Oh, I told y'all when they were trying to shut my channel down, bro, they called me ASAP. Knew my name and everything. Hi, Mr. Williams. Oh, uh, yeah, we was calling. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> Who is damn, this? Damn, bro. It was like, oh, yeah, we, we, we work with YouTube and da 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 da. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Damn they, damn, they called you on the phone, on bro. On the phone, nigga. It was a 1 800 number, and I usually don't pick them motherfuckers up. But something told me to pick it up. And I picked it up. And that's what she said. It was a lady. Came on the phone. Hi, is this Mr. Williams? Yeah, I was calling about YouTube, da-da-da-da. I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, I ain't even bro, know y'all had funny, a number. Bro? That's what I was about to say. You know what's funny, bro? I get, I bet if you try to call the number back, you probably can't even get through to nothing. Nope. <laughs> I couldn't. Matter of fact, yeah, when you call back, it's like a little voicemail and shit. A fucking mysterious-ass fucking one-way portal phone number or some shit. Some weird shit. Telling me she and I knew it was real because she telling me all the shit with Google, like she pulling up information to my account. And I'm like, damn, okay. She telling me, oh, you got three strikes basically. Your channel should be shut down right now, but we trying to work with you. Da 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 da. Hey, that shit too much. Shit, I just had a copyright strike. Like yesterday, bro, with the same create music motherfuckers. But I just deleted the video, bro. I wasn't even trying to go through all that. But should I email them niggas too? I was like, bro, can you fucking remove this strike, bro. Like, and I gave them the link, but they ain't respond until today. But by the by the time they responded, I already deleted the video and shit. But I, don't, I mean, shit, he was just like, oh yeah, bro, I can't see the video and shit. But I mean, bro, uh, you should not. The did good thing that, about bro, that I is, told you, damn. Oh, you got an actual strike? Yeah, you should have kept nah, it. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't no strike. It was just like a um a copyright notice or whatever, bro. Well, yeah, yeah, a claim, oh. bro. Because when um yeah, no, nah, not a strike. No, nah, not a strike. I got one strike, and that was like back when 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 uh that motherfucking Nikki and Remy beef was still hot and fresh, bro. It was a while ago. Nigga, nah, let me see. I got my first strike. That shit gone now though. It yeah, was a, it was a company. Too. They did an interview with uh Side Baby. When I did when I did the video now, they video had like 100 views, bro. And when I did the video, my video had got a lot of views. 
So oh, they were jealous. Watch my video, they went to theirs and they shot their video up, and they still gave me a strike, bro. And I hit them up and told them like, "Hey, man, I'm the one that, you know, really helped y'all out, Loki." Yeah. And so I was at Flex, and they were like, "Yeah, he really did." Yeah. So they they on they they got me right. Oh shit, nigga, that's what's up. Shit, I thought that was on some hating shit. Like this nigga took our shit and got more views in this. Let's get this shit taken down. <laughs> I know what it be for real though. I ain't even. Go. That's what it was at first, and then they realized they like, okay, yeah, he did help <laughs> us out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, while we on that shit, <clears throat> Remy Ma had brought up Nicki Minaj at the fucking what VMAs? Was it VMAs? Some. Yeah, she talking about what she say? She said something about Nicki. Like, Nicki, what's, what's good? Nicki? Yeah, what's good, Nicki? Like, why are you Oh, shit, like, like, like how Nikki did with the, um, Miley Cyrus shit? Yeah, but it's, 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 it's months later, bro. It's like. Yeah, bro. I why mean, are you still on it? that, that's, now, Remy could rap and everything, bro, but come on, let's keep it real. That's, that's like her way of staying relevant, bro. It is, I mean, but it's like, as, you gotta let it go. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's you know, shit over with, bro. Ready to go. <laughs> like, that is yeah, right. Don't nobody even. Yeah, no one talk about that. That shit. I mean, bro, like Nikki, Nikki, and that was her goal, bro, was to kill it by not even responding, bro. Like she couldn't wait for niggas to just stop talking about that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, she could not wait for that shit. But I mean, and then but, but, hey, but maybe, bro, she probably came at her because. I don't know if y'all niggas heard that no flagging song with 21 and Offset and Nikki, but they say she was taking shots at Remy and that shit, so I mean, I don't know. They said she was shit. taking shots at Cardi B, too. Shit, I Nikki said she was taking too, shots man. at Cardi B for sure, huh? Nikki needs to stop, too. Oh, I she thought you said she reached out to you. I was about to say, damn, bro. Hey, Nikki, hey, Nikki in the same boat with Drake. You know what I'm saying? I think they had to humble her down, for real, for real. Like Cardi B about to take her spot and she don't even realize it. Cardi B for real booming out here. That that Bodak, uh, what Bodak Yellow, whatever that shit is. She gotta come with at least three more. But I'm saying she got the fans right now. You feel me? Like yeah, the, the as far yeah, as nah, songs, she do. I feel like I'm with you on that. Like she gotta come with probably one, two more, and then she'll have the music side. But right now she got the fans. On her side, like everybody fucking with Cardi, like last night at the BMA. Bro, because she's such seeing. a likable, bro. She's a likable person, bro. Like Cardi B, just likable. Like Nicki, not so much, bro. And you can tell she being herself one hundred percent, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she having fun with that shit. Yeah. So I. That's why I said cut her, bro. I don't blame like, <laughs> nigga. I don't blame. I don't blame the nigga either, bro. Like I mean, I mean, okay, yeah, she. She a little freaking all that, but so what, bro? Like, she bad as fuck, and she real, bro. No, that, that that's the video. That's the video I was I was recording before I got on here, man. By um, buddy grabbed the ass. Oh yeah, I seen that, bro. She was going off. Yeah. Someone someone grabbed the ass like last night or something, bro. Oh. Damn. She was going. She was like, that nigga just touched my, grabbed my whole ass. I thought about doing a video on that too, and I was like, nah. Yeah, man. Man, shit, y'all still got time. Ain't nobody reporting on it. And then, well, yeah, ain't nobody doing this shit. Nah, shit, I'll let Eyeball take it, bro. That's him. But yeah, shit, bro. Shit, man. Like, how you said what, bro? I said, shit, you good, bro? Nigga, we the squad. We eat together. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. True shit. True shit. Oh, Oh, damn, this one peaked Damn, yeah, bro. That, damn, bro. Hey, bro, like, believe it or not, bro, like, back to that G Money shit, though, like, you might not think he ain't, ain't got no clout, but for some, bro, every time I talk about him, though, bro, niggas run to the video. Oh, yeah. That nigga, like I said, he got clout, bro. Yeah. So a lot of people that's worried about the most. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Huh? I said, the nigga got clout, he just I ain't gonna speak on it because I gotta do more research on him. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. True. It's a lot like, of niggas just 
This how I am, like that. This how I am, dog. I don't be, I don't be talking about rappers I can't name a few songs. I can't name a few of their songs. I don't talk about them. Cause it's like I'm just be talking about them only. I don't even really know them, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, try to, I try to know a person fully. If they ain't no lot to nobody else that you know still recording them. It's just I try to like don't know fully like do all my research. That's true though. Like, should I ask myself? Like, do I even know this motherfucker? But I do though. I might not know him as like as extensively as I would like, you know, some niggas that man came back, came out a couple of years ago and shit. But, bro, it's because I'm kind of out of touch with a lot of these niggas, bro. Like a lot of these new niggas is coming out. But I mean, shit, if you got hot music, you got hot music, bro. It's not gonna, it's, yeah. it's not gonna escape me, bro. Yeah. Bro, I'm about to end the goddamn stream. I just almost said some shit that was gonna fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, cuz. No, bro, I'm about to get heated, dog. Wait. I know this ain't. Oh, what real, happened, bro? Dog. I did this story like four months ago, my nigga. And this man posted this story a day ago. Oh, and it went crazy. I mean, that's. <laughs> Hold up, what happened, bro? <laughs> y'all niggas keep talking. Hold on, I'm going to text it to y'all because I don't want to say nothing <laughs> stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's okay. crazy, bro. Oh, get Oh, this nigga about to... Oh. And I see some... Uh, they talking about Nicki Minaj denied her dissing uh, Cardi B. She saying she ain't dissing. What, what? Yeah, she said that on Twitter. What exactly did she say, though? I don't even know exactly what she said in the song. She was like, I heard these labels trying to make another me. Everything you getting, Lil Ho was cousin me. And some, man, just a whole bunch of other shit. Now, they say, oh, she said, I uh, I heard I'm stopping bags work the Shaggy. It wasn't me or some shit. But, like, she, she tried to say that she was talking about Remy. The stopping bags line is the only thing I could probably refer back to Remy, bro. Because I remember Remy saying this whole trying to stop my bag. Like, I think everybody remembers that. But, yeah, like, I heard these labels trying to make another me. Who the fuck else is being pushed by a label at this point in time besides Cardi B? What other female is really getting pushed by a label, bro? SZA? Come on, my nigga. Like, who the fuck are you talking about? You talking about Cardi? Everything you getting a little hoe is cousin me? Remy is... I don't know how much older she is than Nikki, because Nikki's low key old as fuck. But, uh, like, we know that motherfucking Remy is a way more seasoned in the game than you. Like, she was out, she was out in the goddamn Terror Squad days, the fucking Joe Crack days and shit. So, we know you can't be calling her no little hoe. Like, who you talking about? You talking about Cardi B, bro? She's the first face that's on the scene right now. It's Cardi. Man, she probably scared the car. She know that's a competition right now. Somebody exactly, got to knock her down, though. Just like Drake got knocked down by Kendrick. Cardi might have to knock her down to get her back on her shit. See, it'll, it'll eventually happen. That shit just crazy, though. These, his fan base is real. Y'all see what I sent y'all? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His fan base is real. I salute that shit, but god damn. Man, he talking about a story old, oh, but that shit months old. Yeah. Hey, nah, but I, I think it was because of like some um low key some developing details is coming up, like like he getting sued for that now. No, so I think that's why. No, I did the story about that. <laughs> Like, oh, that, like the whole thing, like yeah, you being sued the, too? Yeah, the, I did that and the shit when it first happened. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. That shit old as hell, nigga. That's months <laughs> old, bro. Like, yeah, bro. Like damn near a year, bro. Like damn near a year, bro. Like that's what it said on the thing. That shit, it's crazy. Old as hell, bro. I can't do nothing but salute it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy, though. Yeah, I want one of them type of fan bases, bro. That's what I need. Yeah. Me too, bro. 
That's crazy, bro. Hey, bro. I don't know what I don't know what this is, bro. But I want to watch this shit real quick, bro. <laughs> this shit is funny. <laughs> I don't know if someone's trying to roast T Grizzly or not, but it's something funny though. On uh, on King Cash Pay. <laughs> on King Cash Pay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bro. He back, bro. He uh, he ain't doing the church sermons no more. He said he temporarily lost his mind. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nah, them is his, his, like, his actual words, like, yeah, bro, I, temporarily, I went insane type shit, bro, like, but I'm back now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My boy deleted all the videos and everything, didn't he? Man, YouTube would do that to you, bro, I swear, man. Oh, bro, this nigga T Grizzly look funny as hell, bro, hold up, bro, is this nigga right? <laughs> Oh, this nigga built like the daddy up there incredible. This nigga got 10 20 legs. <laughs> hey, hey, bro. This, I ain't gonna lie. That's a, hey, bro. This nigga first joke said this nigga, this nigga built like the daddy up there incredible, bro. <laughs> oh, man, man, put the link in the, uh, put the link in the shit. Put it in the, uh, the chat. So I can get it. Yeah, I, I got you, bro. <laughs> Hey, that thumbnail looked funny, bro. I had to click on it, bro. He like on some like some DC up by Ontario Honda and shit. But his first joke was funny. Hold up, bro. I'm gonna finish watching that. I put the link in there, bro. Matter of fact, fuck it. That shit funny as hell, bro. That ain't stupid. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. I ain't got no worries. Man, I need to start playing to get on Twitch, bro. I said I've been live streaming on Twitch for like a whole week and I still ain't did. Hurry up, man. Hey, man, you can't even do that, bro. Cause. Where it is, if you do that, you copy him, bro. You bite him, so. What you done? Just, all I'm going to say is, bro, word on the street is, if you get on Twitch and use Twitch stream, bro, that makes you a biter, bro. It means you bite him. Man, fuck these niggas and fuck that nigga. I hope you see this, too. <laughs> Everybody on Twitch. If I get on Twitch, I'm gonna get on Twitch. I hate that about YouTube, man. Like, niggas act like they start and shit. Like, who, nigga, you, who, you, you, bro, first that's nigga what on it is, Twitch? bro. When niggas, bro, when niggas get gas, bro, when niggas get gas, bro, that's what happens. That's what happens. When niggas get gassed up, that's what happens, bro. Unfortunately. Like, nigga, it's a whole it's community crazy. on Twitch. What do you mean? <laughs> you the first YouTuber that went to Twitch. Man, shut the fuck up. Man. That shit just mean. It's hard to breathe in that tight ass shit. That's why you always talking about the mouth. This nigga look like a stripper who don't know if she want to get dressed tonight for work. And she has motherfucking jeans. Look, boy, put some more lotion on that shit. Fuck you, bought to a chain with anybody who has a greasy training bar. Bitch, feel like a Haitian peasy. How the fuck you on a leg diet? Your Christmas tree built ass. <laughs> you lay down, bitch, you built like some smooshed bread. Forty dollars. Stick my tiny ass up in there. Ew. Oh, this nigga's shoes in the tie. That nigga's shoes. That shit fucking hell, bro. That nigga's stupid, bro. Yeah, that shit fucking hell, bro. That does it for this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He still ain't fucking with my nigga down here, yo, I'm down, though. That nigga hilarious, bro. Oh, yes, man. I got to so, bro. I gotta watch that, bro. Yeah, huh? I put it in my watch later. I got it. I don't want to do it while I'm on stream. <laughs> Matter of fact, I just put it in my watch later, too, bro. I 
I'm pissed off though, bro. He, you just pissed me off with that shit. That bitch ass nigga, bro. He, why? Fans be gassing these niggas up, bro. Like, y'all gotta stop that shit. Make a nigga feel like he got them untouchable and he can just do anything. He started every. Man. Who did me start with this shit? <laughs> but they getting pissed, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Cause that's 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 lame as hell, bro. Like, you ain't starting nothing, bro. Like, you were not even the first nigga to do the entertainment news. You the first nigga to blow up. Don't don't get that shit confused, bro. Like, you ain't starting. How many niggas do Twitch, bro? But you started this shit. Niggas copying it. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You might want to chill, bro. For the chat niggas come up in this bitch, bro. Hey, fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> On me. Fuck all them niggas. <laughs> all them chat niggas don't watch my videos before, nigga. Y'all ain't loyal. <laughs> God damn. Nigga done piss me off. That shit. I don't even report news no more, bitch. But I still, man. <laughs> oh, man. That niggas lame as hell, bro. That shit is stupid. Niggas lame as hell. What time it is? Hey, man, I ain't gonna flex, bro. That's that's some true shit, bro. I mean, I don't know. Bro. It's just like, bro, when you got them, see the other side. You know? You start seeing niggas ain't shit. They some hoes. Niggas always say though, that's how it be in the music industry and all of that. Yeah, I done heard the industry bad, like, <laughs> like for real bad, like. Yeah, like niggas you grew up listening to could really be a hoe. Yeah, I done found that out doing the entertainment news, like just seeing some of these rappers, man. seeing rappers yeah, in the wow. inbox crying and shit. Like, nigga, you supposed to be hard, nigga. What the fuck is you crying about? Damn, CJ so cool, baby mama going off on her. Hey, bro, I just seen that shit in my thing, too. I just didn't want to goddamn expose a nigga like that. But, yeah, it say his baby mama exposed him or something, bro. It's like a nine-minute long video. I ain't even watch it. Well, watch later. <laughs> hey, CJ busting moves, though, bro. That nigga I see that new crib he got. Yeah, that's yeah, that shit clean. Man, that shit. Eesh. Nigga, and he done got... $30,000 worth of new teeth. I'm going to take your teeth out. That hey, the hey bro, shit. Do y'all think that um, Soul Illuminati and the other nigga going to play basketball or not, bro? Oh, no. That shit ain't with, bro. Yeah, they already done squashed that shit. It's, well, they ain't squashed, but they already done said they ain't going to play each other. You think it's because bro was scared? I think all of them was a little bit of ski, like a little, little bit of ski. Not what shit, bro? What's the other dude name? Uh, Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty. He showed up. LSK. He showed up. Nah, he showed up to the guy yeah. on uh, court though. Nah, but see, it was separate occasions. Like, like them niggas got exposed just like the first time. Uh, I think LSK really backed down and he didn't want to do it. And they, you know, they, they backed out or whatever and tried to play it off like they did. Now, the second time, yeah, Cash, Nasty, and LSK was at the gym. And so was like, fuck that shit. But, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I think everybody was a little scared. Because you got to think about it. These, like, the top 2K YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, that, that branched out, like, Cash Nasty be doing vlogs and shit, you know, you know, he do all type of shit, and same with Soul, Soul was a 2K, like, YouTuber, but now he do reactions and stuff, and you put both of them in the game, in real life, and they be talking hella shit about how they good and this and that, and you know what I'm saying, whoever lo- lost that match, they was gonna get dogged out, <laughs> oh yeah, bro, that shit got ugly. The fans was going to go in on whoever lost because that's how bad it had got. Like, 
niggas was for real. Yeah, no, nah, I heard it was got like hella personal. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, niggas like, was, was talking personal, hella bro. shit for months. Like, you feel me? Like, this shit was going on for months. And whoever lost that shit, bro, it was OV. That's why I said niggas was scared, because come on now. Both of these niggas got a lot of subs. You don't want to be the laughing. Stop uh, like you know YouTube. That's like the Jordan cry face, bro. <laughs> you don't want to be that person. And that's just being honest. Like, so the best thing they hey, that do, shit. they didn't put that Jordan shit is legendary, bro. Like that be niggas' biggest fear. Like you don't want to be the next Jordan fight. Uh, shit, the next crying Jordan, bro. Like you just don't want to do that, bro. Like. <laughs> That's that's an automatic. That's an automatic. Anytime you make an ass of yourself, or anytime you do something stupid, it just anytime anything bad go wrong, bro, in the public, like niggas automatically just gonna cut and paste that fucking Jordan face over your ass, bro. <laughs> like, oh, kick hey, bro, when Jim Jones cried at that interview, dog, I was so tempted to like. Say that picture and Photoshop that shit and try to turn that shit into the next crying Jordan. Cause that nigga had the perfect tear, bro. Like he had the <laughs> he had yeah, the Native American tear, bro. Huh? So you crazy, though. <laughs> Man, I don't know, bro. My mind be on some other shit, bro. Like <laughs> the, the perfect tear, man. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That nigga had that shit. Just, bro, it looked so similar to uh. Jordan face, bro. Like that shit was perfect. It was damn near perfect to use. Surprised ain't nobody do it. I ain't see it. I don't know. I felt for Jim. I, 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 that, that whole interview had me shit. Hey, Cameron didn't feel for him, bro. <laughs> that nigga said, "Oh fuck this shit. I'm going live, nigga. Don't even." Work. Hey, bro. When I was on his line that day, that nigga had like 40,000 people watching, bro. I was like, God damn, bro. This nigga live is booming. Cam got fucking pulled, man. No matter what, <laughs> that man got pulled. Oh, yeah. He the man. That was on. Oh, Y'all think I should, though, man? Uh, that shit just made me inspired, nigga. I'm about to shit on this bitch ass, nigga. I'm about to go on Twitch. Tomorrow. <laughs> Just for that shit. Just for that shit, nigga. I'm going on to it. <laughs> and I get to play music and not get copyrighted? Oh, yeah. Talk about whatever. Hey, man, I ain't going to lie, though. That nigga... Hey, his Twitch is getting lit, though, bro. Like, that nigga Twitch is low-key becoming like a, a fucking radio show, bro, with celebrity guests and shit. It's the like, move, this nigga done, man. Like, Twitch this nigga done had boom, bruh. He done had Fat Boy on his Twitch for like a long ass interview. He done had Boom on that bitch for like 40 minutes. That nigga done had Yachty on that bitch. That nigga done had Kodak on that bitch. I'm like, yo, this nigga shit low key popping, bruh. Yeah. The nigga that boy that went live. Well, somebody on that live here. Hold on, what happened? Somebody on Jet Boy live. Oh, on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, last time I checked, he had no bond. Oh, they say they say they got him on the phone. Oh shit! Uh oh. Ah, uh, ball, you got to get the footage, bro. I get that when I get home. Be can by dropping new for shit no more, bro. Uh, you got the fan base. Well, you I mean, don't shit, need that shit. Yeah, bro. I just, exactly. At this point, nah. you don't got to no more, bro. You know what nah, I just, put up is gonna give you me. It ain't even that, bro. I it just like about. It. I care about this new content more than anything, bro. It, it interests me more instead of that news, bro. Like <laughs> this nigga eyeball on his new channel, bro. He said, "Fuck that old shit." <laughs> like I'm still gonna drop news, bro. Said, I'm rocking with the humble jerk, bro. Nah, I mean, I, the name, I still got the humble jerk channel, but I changed the name to the uh, the channel. I got the videos on to relate to all that fam. Yeah, I mean, it's just I don't know. Like after a while, bro. When you been in the, the the news industry for a minute, you realize that that shit whack as hell, bro. It's whack as hell. But it's still cool, bro. I still do news. It just I, this this new stuff. It it got my interest more, bro. Like I really love this shit. I love doing videos when they new type of shit I'm doing, dog. <laughs> Cause I know 
I know after a while, if I stay consistent, this shit don't take a, a crazy wave, bro. Out of nowhere. Like a, a fucking tsunami wave, dog. Nah, bro, your biggest fan gonna steal that shit, bro. You already know he watching, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna steal your shit, bro. Run off with it. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey, okay, bro. Hey, that's that's funny. You changed the name of your shit and your picture, and I ain't even noticed, bro. I thought that was just your regular channel for some reason. I was, I thought this nigga said he was gonna stop putting them documentaries on his main channel. Cause I would see like like the uh shit like the like the um your documentary style videos and shit. But next to it wasn't a green picture. So I'm like, okay, he putting it on his main channel and shit. But that's a whole different. So that's still a separate channel. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the the character got a beanie on. It got all that fam on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Hey, don't even think about it. Don't even think. I've been talking with somebody. Don't even think about doing the cartoon, nigga, with the all uh, about uh, about characters. That's the most stuff. Man, right? I used to want to do that so bad, bro. Like, uh, damn, what's that dude I used to watch? Uh, he he be making like the little cartoon episodes. Still no beat. Him, but it's another dude. Uh, I ain't on that channel. I gotta look. It's on the Zesco shit. Hey, bro, when the last time nigga feel no beef I love the video? That nigga don't be. That nigga do that shit like every couple of months. Who that? Feel feel no beef. It's like it's like two. It's like two niggas. I think it's like two brothers, and like their picture is like uh, like a nigga with a red nose and shit. They did all the goddamn uh, Birdman and Lil Wayne's back in the day, and then they do the We Are Young Money cartoons and shit. Oh yeah, I think that shit take a long time to do, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, you gotta get that shit right. That ain't no just throw it together type shit. I wish bruh, I had his last video. video was seven months ago, bro. I wish I had me a fucking. I wish I knew how to read Photoshop, bro. Instead of like my thumbnails being like the regular pictures, I have how my character is. I put my character in the same hat, make him have the same characteristic that the person I'm talking about, like 21 Savage. He'll have like the knife in the middle of his forehead if I'm doing the video. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That'd be yeah, that'd be fire, bro. Just joke like Shit, that, all bro. you gotta do is just go around and just, um, man. Believe it or not, I mean, well, shit, of course you believe it, but shit, bro, it's niggas. Wait, I can't do that hold on, shit. pause. You know what? We're gonna end this stream right here because niggas giving out too many ideas for these fuck niggas, right? So, oh, goddamn, yeah, yeah. thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoy it. Look, y'all got anything to say? Mm, no, I'm good. Hey, man, get lit, man. Thanks for tuning in. All right, we got to do it again.